are the sick repulsive in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel from the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome to your channel for the Gospel of January the 22nd, 2020, according to St. Mark. And he entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man having a withered hand, and they were watching him to see if on the Sabbath he will heal him, in order that they might accuse him. And he says to the man, the one with the withered hand, Stand up in the middle. And he says to them, Is it permitted on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil, to restore life or to destroy it? But they were silent. And having looked at them with anger, being deeply grieved at their hardness of their heart, he says to the man, Stretch out your hand. And he stretched it out and was restored, the hand of him. And going out, the Pharisees immediately with the Herodians held consultation against him as to how they might destroy him. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. There are some incredible songs written about. I remember Phil Collins' Another Day in Paradise and many others. that talk about how we don't like to mess with the, with the homeless. We don't like to mess with the, with, with the ones that are ill. Oh, I get, I, that was myself, huh? I get so depressed going into the hospital. I can't bear it. No, no, I can't. Really? Really? Yeah, let's build up a beautiful wall so that we don't have to be the, the homeless people. Let's even tell the military men to drive them away, to shove them somewhere into a hole that, so that we don't have to smell them. They're stinky. They, the Lord tells us today, Put in the middle, so that you have to see him. Put him in the middle. So there is no escaping seeing the ill man. And now he asks out of your own heart, what are you going to say? Look at him. Dare to look at the ill one and then see inside of you what's inside of you. Is it so hard and are you so brutish that you would like to turn away or answer the question that the Lord is asking, what is good to be doing on a Sabbath or any day to restore life or to destroy it? The ones that will be hurled head along into the hell, into hell, are the ones that plan to destroy him and everyone. Because they their hearts are so hardened. They immediately devise how to kill Jesus. They would not be able to turn around and say, this can't be done. And you know why? Because it's easier to harden your heart. I remember when I was a young child. Well, not a young child, but I was 12 years old. That my heart was aching for many things. And then I decided right there that I didn't want to feel anymore. That I would harden my heart. And for many years, I became like that. It's easier. You don't feel. But then you start to die inside. And the devils take over you. But it's only the piercing of the heart of God that will open up again your heart so that you might have compassion for the others. It's not easy. It's painful. Yeah, it's very painful. Because only when you accept the pain can you touch another one that is ill, that is rejected, that is being abused. Can you start being the change that God wants? The Lord says, I want mercy and not sacrifices. And he talks about all the time. He talks about this. May the Lord in his mercy shine his face and his love upon each one of your hearts. That you may come, that you may become to be transforming him. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.